Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we are going to start this Undertale run. So, a little bit of a preface before I begin. Uh, Undertale. I'm a few months late to the party, but I... Well, I've actually... I do know everything that's... Well, basically put it this way, I've been spoiled. <laughs> I've been spoiled about this game, and I've seen lots of playthroughs myself, and honestly, I was considering uh, what I could do to really bring the, anything new to the table before uh, doing something like this. Um, I always thought that, well, if I couldn't bring anything new to the table, there's not really much... Uh, worth in uh, doing this video series since uh, if I'm not uh, going into it fresh then obviously my reactions won't be exactly the same as uh, somebody's going fresh which is uh, I think what people like to see right uh, fresh perspectives on this game and like the reactions to all the crazy stuff that happens yeah so that's out and then I considered okay what about uh, secrets and stuff but then this is Undertale we're talking about. All the secrets have been dug out and put on display. And honestly, I don't think there's anything worth pointing out at this point, given that it's pretty recent and as you know, a lot of uh, videos on YouTube and everything are pointing out all the different secrets and there's even the whole uh, gaster thing that's going on in the background. So that's out too. So in the end, what new thing can I bring to this? Uh, and I guess that's why we're here today, because I'm going to play through this game and I'm probably not going to add that much extra commentary, I'm just going to play through it, uh, narrate it as it goes along and I guess that's what I'll be bringing to it, uh, a bit of uh, narration, voice acting I guess, and that's why I'm put doing this in stream format instead of a normal let's play. So with that said, I guess we'll begin then, Undertale, the game everyone's been loving. Day to you too, uh, all of you in the chat. I'll just sit through this intro here. I'll start uh, narrating. Once the intro is done, I guess. So I'm a little. I missed my cue for this. <laughs> okay. And yeah, since I since I know everything that's going to go on um, to save us the trouble, I'm just going to use the canon name, uh, Kara. Is that how you pronounce it, Kara or Chara? Kara. It's in character, right, Kara? Yeah, Kara. Mm -hmm. I drained it up. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Undertale. Hmm, okay. Okay, we're gonna go with a uh, canon name to make things easier on me for narration. Okay. Uh, Yes, I know about Pappy Roo. <laughs> hmm. A lone boy lying in a field of flowers. Part of my voice acting, by the way. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying something as... Uh, well, I wouldn't say this is super ambitious, but it's the first time I'm trying something like this. So, please do forgive me if I'm not quite up to the task. Okay, let's go. Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flowey the flower. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little me will have to do. 
Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very illumination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of level. What's level stand for? Why? Love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Uh, friendliness pellets. Hmm. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die. Oh, hi, good mum. Um, okay, uh, good mum voice, good mum voice. Um. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torio, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come. I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Freedom of movement. Let's go back. Hmm. Wonder where Flowey went. Oh well. I guess we'll, we'll see him again one day. Yeah. Feel free to give feedback on my. Uh, Terrible, I'm sure, terrible voice acting in the comments. <laughs> Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Hmm. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. The first switch is over on the wall. She won't let me pass. Oh well. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. Uh, I think she's gonna change her dialogue. Okay. <laughs> Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Hmm. You encountered the dummy. Hmm. We can do a few things. Hmm. Let's check it. Attack zero, defend zero, a cotton heart and button eye. You were the apple of my eye. Oh, 
dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Okay, let's keep checking it. <laughs> dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Yep. Dummy stands around absent mindedly. Dummy tires of your aimless shenanigans. Huh, oh, 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 you won. Hey, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Look at Toriel, she's, she's totally confused by me. She's completely confused. Yep. The next room awaits. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Another puzzle, huh? Ooh, frog it attacks me. Uh, let's uh, let's check him out. Life is difficult for this enemy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Toriel, I won. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but. Here, take my hand for a moment. <clears throat> okay, Goat Mom's voice. Uh, I need to figure it out. I need to settle on something proper for Toriel. I was thinking British, but I'm, I'm not really good at doing a British accent. I'll, 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 I'll give it a shot. Uh, puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. I I, I can't do it. I'll just I'll just I'll just stick with this. Uh, you have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I can't go back. It's so dramatic. Wait a second. Occasionally, occasionally you see Flowey pop up behind you. Anyways, I'm sorry. I know, I know the secrets of this game, so... reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Hey, I have a cell phone. Let's say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then. Hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hmm. I hope my voices are doing okay. This is Toriel. You wanna know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Historio. Huh? Did you just call me Mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me Mother? Now then, call me whatever you like. Uh, huh? Oh, <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. 
You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Okay. Let's go back. Let's explore. Whoa. Carol kind of spazzed out there for a second. Or should I say frisk? Yeah, this is not a playthrough for new people. Definitely not. You can't even walk onto these spikes. See? Huh. I'm ramming into them, and they won't let me walk on them. We're perfectly safe. Hmm. Yeah, we still have our stuff. Again? Salutations! Is that enough? Hmm. This is Torio. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf power of fist of iron. Can you do that for me? This is Torio. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. Hmm. My stream just disconnected. And the stream's back up. Let's flirt over again. Oh dear, are you serious? And after you said you wanted to call me mother, you are an interesting child. This is Toru. Hello, my child. Yeah, this is a repeat. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's move on then. How are my voices so far, you guys? I mean, I know I've only got two so far. Three if you count the narration. Hello? This is Torio. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. Monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human rabbit. Say it's take one. Yay, let's take candy. Monster candy, you said it has a distinct non licorice flavor. Licorice flavor. Or something like that. Ahem. <laughs> I'm ignoring the same points. Oh, oh. Hi, Wimson. I guess the effortless ones uh, have no have no reward. Oh, it's Froggit. Let's compliment him. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. I should probably save. A non-safe run is probably something I shouldn't be attempting right now. Hello, this is Toriel. No reason in particular. Which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, oh, I see. Thank you very much. I have no idea what I just selected, but it doesn't matter. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Okay. Oh, hey, it's another frogget. Alright. Uh... Oh, I almost cornered myself there. Almost. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? 
no reason, no reason at all. Frogget and Wimson. Um, maybe I can console him. Half victory, your first word. Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Oh no. Frogget. Dear partner, who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, think I got it. Is that helpful? Yes, that was very helpful. Uh. Hmm. He wanted me to stay there. You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Huh, they certainly are. Knowing the mouse for one day, leave his hoe and get the cheese. He fills you with determination. Okay, we saved. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. And it's... That's a squeaky. Hmm? Oh, Napster look. Okay, uh, Napster looks voice. Um, how should I do this? Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Will we be forced? Oh well, guess we have no choice. Here comes Naps the Blue. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Naps the Blue is wishing they weren't here. Hey, let's flirt me. i just weigh you down. Feeding up to it right now, sorry. Nepster Book is pretending to sleep. You give Nepster Book a patient smell. Eh. Oh. Nepster Book looks just a little bit better. You taught Nepster Book a little joke. Heh <laughs> heh. Sharing seems to have improved Nepsabook's mood again. Nepsabook wants to show you something. Let me try... I call it Dapperbook. Do you like it? Nepsabook eagerly awaits your response. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Ah, oh, thanks, Napster. Look, Napster. Oh, Napster. 
Uh, I hope that was a good voice. <laughs> What's this three? Did you miss it? Spider Big Seal down and to the right. Right, Spider Big Seal. I have eight gold. Can I buy something? Seven gold in the web? Yeah, we can get something. Spider Donut. I don't have that much. Thank you. Ribbit Ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit Ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying it won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if the name is in yellow. Okay, got it. Swing your arms, baby. This up doesn't have a care in the world yet. Okay. Sorry if I'm breezing through this, guys. Uh, if you want me to pay a little more attention to the dialogue, I can do that if you want me to. I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay, thanks for the advice. Okay, let's see. There's just one switch. There are holes everywhere. Another one. A dog's view. Items. You found a faded ribbon. Hooray. Now what's up with this? It's an enemy. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Let's see. Uh, dinner. You pet your stomach. The fish toy offers a healthy meal. In your greens. It smells like steamed carrots and peas. Add like a little more heating peas. Yay, I almost at full health. One more. Hey, I am a bullet hell master. I actually have played bullet hell games before, so there you go. There's the switch. Oh hey Napster. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Hi. I've got one more Vegetite to say hi to. Right after this. Oh, it's a Lux. Okay. Don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. He, he was gonna say. Almost sort of speed running through this, uh, which I guess is uh, okay. I missed. Okay. How much stuff do we have right now? Monster candy, spider donut, faded ribbon. We should probably equip this. We took the bandage off. Bandage, use 10 HP. It's already been used several times. The 
Fire door is not an exit, it simply marks the rotation in perspective. There's a switch, press it. Hmm, okay, puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. This, press the blue switch. Oh. Oh. I'm a fraud. I'm a total fraud. Oops. Okay, blue. So, it will be the top switch, I believe. So... There we go. I miss the green again. I am a terrible, terrible Undertale, Undertale player. Whoa, both types, both types. Yikes. Excuse me. I'm not feeling completely well right now. Uh, Press the green switch. More vegetarians. I missed the green, I'm terrible. Come on, I I'm a good help here. Excuse me. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it. It's probably this one. It was this one. Okay. Hmm. It's Torio's house up there, right? Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Torio come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Found a toy knife. Toy knife uh, made of plastic rarity nowadays. Can we equip it? Oh, right. Now we have a stick. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not exactly on my A game right now. But don't worry, I can still do voice acting. I'm gonna eat this candy. I'm at full health. Dear, that took longer than I thought it would. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive, but still. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. I 
I, I, I fool you to see that bit of dialogue. The not a scratch one. But yeah, she, it changes depending on uh, how much HP you have left. If you have like barely any health, then she'll say something different. Anyways, do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Hmm? Hang on a moment, goat mum. The fire is burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I'd rather not. It's history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Oh wait, this is uh... Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The kitchen. It's a pie. What a nice smell. So hard to eat though. There is some white fur. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll hold off the next dream until I'm better, probably. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Maybe I should have done this uh, when I was at 100%. Wonder know what's down here. Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Um, I, I think a dialogue will only change later. Okay. This is it. A room of your very own. I hope you like it. Uh, mom. Is something burning? Or uh, make yourself at home. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Storio's Diary. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bony! Ah ha 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 ha! The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Oh wait, the cactus. There's the cactus. Ah, the cactus. Surely the most sundry of plants. Room under renovations. It's you! It's my room. I went to sleep. Music. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay. Let's go say hi to Goat Mom. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite book hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Is this your home now? Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Users for Snails. How about it? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. I 
have to do something. Stay here. Yeah, I, I know guys, I know. I'm, I'm just going ahead of it. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. The one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Okay. I like the music here. I, I want to stay here. I'll stay here. Uh, yeah. I think I've seen. I think I've seen all the dialogue. The ends of the tools have been fouled down to make them safer. There is some white fur stuck in the tree in here. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Tori must use fire magic instead. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Excuse me. Okay, I'm going back to bed. As Toriel told me to. Say hi to the cactus again. Ah, uh, the cactus, yeah, okay. Well, gotta go back down and talk to Toriel then. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it. Again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Okay, mom, I'm going back to bed. Back to bed. Yep. Excuse me. Gotta get some water. Oh, right. Um. Kara, please. Wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. And there's the... There's the little bit of dialogue. That's actually Escar. I'm gonna get some water. Excuse me. I am not at the top of my game right now. I hope this stream is still going okay for you guys. Uh, I mean, uh, I may not be playing it the way a lot of people want me to play it, but I have seen everything before. So, you know, um, take it for what it is, alright? I hope this is fine. Okay, let's go see Torio. You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh no.
Oh, okay. This was harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> what are you doing? Tomorrow prepares a magical attack. Attack or run away. Tomorrow prepares a magical attack. What are you proving this way? Upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but you can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. Hmm. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. this way. was lonely. Oh, good man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop out, I'm gonna quick save. Okay. I'm gonna take a short break for a minute. Um but uh you know I think I wanna go on to the next area. She's all the way back there. Oh okay. Uh I'll backtrack there, why not? Just to take a look. And after that, um... You know what, uh... I wanna go on to the next area. It's pretty early in the night, I, I've got time. So I'll put, the, I'll put the stream on pause for a minute, I'm gonna freshen up a little bit so I don't keep, like, sneezing and whatever. And, uh, from there, then I'll be able to do, uh... I'll go back and, uh... I'll get back to Undertale, and I'm gonna play through the next series, Snowden I think. Maybe not the whole of Snowden, uh, 
some parts of Snowden at least. But yeah, uh, it's been roughly an hour. So I've got just enough time for that. So yeah, I think that plan will work out. What do you guys think? I'll go freshen up a little bit so uh, I can do a little better after this. see Floy. Keep an eye out on the left side of the screen. Or it could be ahead. He's probably ahead anyway. Still there. What happens if we flip the other switch? Actually, this switch doesn't even work. <laughs> Wonder why. All the way back here. Oh, there she is. She's here. Good mom. Mom. Do not worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Bone flowers. They must have broken your fall. Uh, okay. She's only gonna say that, huh? Nobody picked up. She's right here. Nobody picked up. Oh, good mom. Okay. This is the picture. I'm gonna leave the stream on for now, so... Stay tuned you guys, I'm gonna move on to Snowden in just a minute. Um, give me a few minutes and I'm gonna freshen up and stuff. Okay, so this has been Undertale, uh, The Ruins. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, stay tuned. <laughs>